they begin in the lunchroom where they become a food right, and learn about my plate. Then they move to the brain where they learn that breakfast uh, is important to jumpstart their day and to learn portion control. From there they go to the mouth and start the digestive process. So they sit on teeth, they have a big toothbrush, they learn about dental hygiene, about how much sugar is in certain candies that they really like. Uh, moving on then to the stomach where they wiggle and digest and uh, move on to the small intestines where they're absorbed into the small intestines, into the bloodstream. Um, and then they go to the heart, lungs, bones, muscles, and skin where there are activities in each of those areas. Finally, they go through the pathway, which is a recap of all the other stations that they've been through. See, it's an educational exhibit that, that encourages uh, uh, good nutrition and physical activity. And so uh, kids get too much fat and too much sugar in their diets today. So if they can eat a healthier diet, they're going to be healthier kids. Chocolate. I know the girls like chocolate, so some of you boys, all that sugar's going in your body. I like chocolate. Oh, Right, and your brains under your skull oh, there. Right. Now, look what I have down here. Can you get that for me, Alyssa? There you go. Whoa. That's a real, do you think that's a real human bone? No. No, you're right. It is a real pig bone. A real pig bone. I'm taking it. No. But your, but your bones are very similar to that. They feel like that. So pass it around so you guys can feel that. It's good because it's hands-on. There are, there are props inside each station, um, and so they, they have that hands-on experience. It's not just reading it, the material in a book. So we find that retention is better. Most of the time, they, it's like, that was awesome. Occasionally, older kids will say, that was disgusting. Well, we know that means they really liked it.